Okay. Susanna saying, uh, how will Iran's open support of Hamas, especially in the recent war, affect the deal? You're right. So this basically the, the parts of the U.S. government that wanted to pressure uh, Biden's administration to make human rights an important part of, and they're meddling in the um, Middle East, an important part of the negotiations. They were given a, a gift by whole, this whole situation in Israel because um, Hamas openly, Hamas and also the Islamic Jihad group uh, openly have said uh, recently and even a couple of months before about the level of support that they get from Iran. Um, and Iran doesn't hide that anymore anyways, so um, they're very transparent about that. Hamas is transparent about that. Islam Iran's government is transparent about that, and the Islamic Jihad group is, all in, is also transparent about that. Um, so being Israel, being a U.S. ally, um, doing United States negotiating with Israel's you know, most powerful enemy and not making, uh, not uh, Biden, the Biden administration not uh, pushing for making uh, Iran's meddling in, on providing support to Israel's enemies um, a condition would be, you know, imp unimaginable if that is not a major um you know, if it's if, if Biden's administration administration is not being pressured for them to be like, yeah, you guys can't just um, attack our ally like this, and for us to basically come and remove all sanctions, all sanctions from me, like no. So again, this is why it's hard, so hard for me to imagine what do people mean when they say like, it's any day now, any day now, the progress is there's so much progress, like. I want to really know how is so much progress is being made. If there's, if, you know, how, what is, who is like becoming more is taking as access, who's becoming more lenient on issues like this. Like I, I can't imagine the, uh, the uh, Iran's administration being like, okay, we're going to stop supporting Hamas and Hezbollah. I can't imagine that being the case. So is it the Biden administration that is saying like, okay, we remove all sanctions, um, even if you're going to support Hamas and Hezbollah, or is it that maybe the Iran side is accepting that maybe you could keep the sanctions that are real about IRGC uh, because we're going to reinterpret what Khamenei meant by all? So again, I don't know how the progress is being made. These are some really hard red lines on both sides, and I just I can't wait to see how they were how they manage to uh, maneuver around them, right? Yeah. Hey guys, if you want to join these streams live, get your comments and questions read by Ali and Armin and the guests, and most importantly, to get full access to the full video versions of all these episodes, become a patron. Link in the description below.